Hi, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFe-WebDesign.com with a tutorial on using the Ignite Gallery component on a Joomla website. This Joomla site, uh, when it's launched, will be StephenBoone.com and uh, you can see on the home page here I've just put a bunch of thumbnails that are linking to the individual galleries and when you roll over the thumbnail you get a little tooltip with paint, you know, the name of the gallery. Uh, we're trying to save space by not titling them. And so if you were to click on one, you would see um, a large photograph and a series of thumbnails that you can scroll through. It's a nice component. And uh, once I've launched it, it should be uh, search engine friendly and I'll be setting the SEF settings so that the, um, the URLs are search engine friendly. But, uh, so you have the front end, which will be stephenboone.com and the back end, which will also be, in, in your case, it'll be the same URL and then forward slash administrator. And then you just log in with your login. And if you want to be updating um, your gallery, you click on the Ignite Gallery and you'll see a list of all your galleries and we have several, a few subcategories under paintings and, you know, for instance, we are, we have, we'll be uploading the new work soon and so you can see you can look at the settings for the gallery by clicking on here but you manage the photos by clicking on manage photos right now we only have one it's so easy using this system you just click on choose files and you browse to your your hard drive and uh, we'll just grab some landscapes you can you, one thing that's really cool about this system is you can do more than one uh, so I could just highlight all of these and click select and boom they're uploaded and included in the gallery but since these don't actually go in this uh, gallery I'm just going to do one to show you how it works so you can see after clicking on it that it's, it took no time for it to be added so now you want to be able, you want to go into each individual um, piece and edit it. Uh, you'll want your description, you know, you could say it's, um, you could put it dimensions or whatever your description is. And you could even um, grab your PayPal code and click on this edit code button. Now I've installed the JCE content editor which is why you see all these buttons on here and I highly recommend it. The JCE content editor component for Joomla. It also costs a little to get the full uh, nine yards but it's really worth it. So then you, you can click on edit code and put your cursor after whatever is in there already and paste your PayPal button uh, code if you want. Um, so I don't have that yet. I'm just going to put the, the medium, uh, maybe the, the name. Um, I'll just call it oil painting for now. And um, bold that maybe. And then put a price. I'm sure that, you know, whatever the price is. Okay and then save it. So if we go back to the front end of the website and we go back to the home page, oh sorry can't do it that way because it's not live yet that's the old site. If we go to the portfolio and we click on the new work we'll now see we have this new piece down here but you can see how oil painting oil on canvas 24 by 30 five thousand dollars you know has shown up here so really that's all you do you go you go to components you log into the back end you go to choose components ignite gallery you find the one you want to update you click on manage photos and you either just edit the existing ones that are in there 
or you can delete the ones that are in there and I'll do that now just delete by clicking on this checkbox to the left of the image and choose delete so that's gone now um, but you can edit it here um, just by clicking on the edit button and making your changes and then saving it so it's really really simple okay enjoy the ignite gallery